Here is a product review of the Fiskars machete and sheath. Uh, bought some land recently and realized the first thing that I needed to do was go and get a really good machete. And so this is the Fiskars machete. Um, I tried some of the other ones, machetes first. Cheap Chinese, you can see what happens to the steel and blade on decent sized limbs and things like that. These are always pretty good. The handle's not so great. Again, the quality of this steel, it's not, it's not Valerian, and we all want Valerian. Um, the Gerber, I like the Gerber. It's a good, small, short blade. There are areas where I probably would use that over the longer Fiskars, but uh, all in all, the Fiskars is really the way to go. Um, as far as length, it goes from here to here, so it's about that long. Um, really good it's got a really good handle um, definitely the edge holds I've had this for probably six months or a year and um, haven't had to, haven't had to sharpen it and haven't had any issues and it just slices through vines trees bushes the whole nine yards the sheath is good and the one thing with the Fiskars you do have to be careful uh, I was out earlier today and um, I have my uh, hip waders on and daggum it if I wasn't paying attention and actually um, uh, ended up with the Fisker coming right there and and it really peed me off because I these are good hip waders and I put a hole in it so I was I was mad but then I, then I started thinking wait a second I wonder if I put a hole in my pants since it went through the waders and sure enough I went and pulled my pulled my pants down and, and sure enough I freaking had a hole in my pants too so now I got to fix my pants and fix my waders and then of course after I noticed that I had a hole in my waders and a hole in my pants I needed to check my leg and sure enough I had a good old gash right there on my leg now I will say that uh, when the Fisker when it hit fortunately you know it I think it came in like that. Oh, I about did it again. But it uh, um, it didn't stick in the bone, which was really nice. Now, the good thing is if it, if it had stuck in the bone, it's so long that I would have had enough leverage, I think. Maybe I'd have to put my leg up against a tree or a log, but I'd have enough leverage that I could have leveraged it out of the bone. Now, if it had been a little sharper, it probably would stick have stuck in the bone I mean it hit the bone I know it hit the bone because I felt that kind of towards the end but uh, anyway you you being this long and having that long of a handle I think you could have leveraged it um, out of the bone so uh, one other thing is unfortunately I was in there I needed the blood to stop after I realized that it was filling up the bottom of my waiter so I had a uh, had a glove so I used a glove and I had this little strap and I made a really nice tourniquet out of the strap and the glove to um, slow the bleeding so that it didn't completely fill up the bottom of my waiter. But anyway, the point being is that, you know, all in all, you, you need to get this Fisker because it's sharp. I mean, it's sharp enough that, that it'll cut to bone, but it doesn't actually stick in bone. So uh, anyway, um, go buy yourself a Fisker with the sheath. You don't, you don't need, really need to get any of those. Uh, definitely get yourself a glove and a little tourniquet device. And uh, happy chopping. Happy, happy clearing fields and, and trails and things like that. Um, that's it for this product review. Oh, maybe, maybe get yourself a medical kit. That's probably not a bad idea either. And keep it with you. Have a good day.